In what time will a train 100 meters long cross an electric pole if its speed be 144 kilometers per hour? Well, the situation is like this. You have a pole and a train which is of 100 meters long. So, to cross this pole, the train will have to cover the distance of its own length, right? And that's when we are going to calculate the time of this train to cover 100 meters. So, what we want is time, right? So, T is equals to distance upon speed. It is equal to the distance is given in 100 meters. So, 100 divided by the speed. Now, the speed is 144 kilometers per hour, but we need it in meters per second because we need time in seconds. So, 144 times 5 by 18 meters per second, right? So, this is equal to 100 times 18 by 144 times 5. 18 times 8 is 144 and 5 times 20 is 100. So this is 20 by 8 and that's 5 by 2 and that's 2.5 seconds. So the time taken by this train is 2.5 seconds. A train 280 meters long running with a speed of 63 kilometers per hour will pass a tree in. Well, the train will have to cover its own length in order to pass this stationary object, which happens to be a tree. So we have been given the speed, which is 63 kilometers per hour. Let's convert this into meters per second. So 63 times 5 by 18 meters per second will be the speed. And we have been given the distance to be traveled by this train or the train's length. The distance is 280 meters. Now we have to calculate the time it takes to pass this tree. So time is equal to distance upon speed, right? So we have the distance as 280 meters upon the speed is 63 into 5 by 18. And that's 280 into 18 by 63 times 5. 3 times 6 is 18 and 3 times 21 is 63. Again, 3 twos are 6, 3 sevens are 21. Now, 7 times 4 is 28. So, 7 times 40 is 280. So, you have 80, 40 times 2 is 80 by 5. And that's equal to 16 seconds. So, the answer is option B, 16 seconds. A train 360 meters long is running at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour. In what time will it pass a bridge 140 meters long? The situation is like this. You have a bridge which is 140 meters long and a train that's 360 meters long. Now this train will have to travel the bridge length as well as its own length in order to pass that bridge. So the distance is actually equals to the train's length, that's 360 meters, plus the bridge length, that's 140 meters. So the distance is equal to 500 meters. Now, speed is given to us as 45 kilometers per hour, and that's 45 times 5 by 18 meters per second. So that's 9 times 5 is 45, and 9 times 2 is 18. That's 25 by 2 meters per second. Now we have the speed and the distance. We have to calculate the time. So time is equals to distance upon speed. So it is equals to distance is 500, speed is 25 by 2 and that's 500 times 2 by 25. That's 1000 by 25 and that is equals to 40 seconds. So option 1 is the correct answer. 40 seconds. A train 240 meters long passed a pole in 24 seconds. How long will it take to pass a platform 650 meters long? Now this train is 240 meters long and it passed a pole in 24 seconds. Which means that it traveled 240 meters. So we can calculate the speed of this train. Speed is equal to distance upon time, 240 upon 24. 
and that's 10 meters per second which is the speed of this train. Now we have to calculate the time at which this train at the speed of 10 meters per second crosses a platform 650 meters long. So the distance to pass this 650 meters long platform will be the train's length plus the length of the platform. So 240 plus 650 and that is equal to 890 meters. Now we have to calculate the time. Time is equal to distance upon speed. So distance is 890 divided by speed is 10. So we have 89 seconds as the time this train takes to, cro to cross the platform. Option B is the correct answer. A train 800 meters long is running at a speed of 78 kilometers per hour. If it crossed a tunnel in one minute, then calculate the length of the tunnel. First of all, let the length of this tunnel be x meters. Now, in order to cross this tunnel, the train will have to move the length of the tunnel as well as its own length. So we have the distance is equals to the length of the train that is 800 meters plus the length of the tunnel that's x meters. Now we have been given the speed which is 78 kilometers per hour. So speed is 78 times 5 by 18 meters per second. Right. And we have been given the time as well which is 1 minute and that is equal to 60 seconds. Now we have all our units sorted up. We can put these terms in the formula. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Speed is 78 into 5 by 18 is equal to distance is 800 plus x upon time which is 60. So the 60 moves to the left so it is equal to we can multiply the left hand side by 60 right so 6 times 10 is 60 6 times 3 is 18 and 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 26 is 78 so we have 10 times 26 times 5 which is equals to 1300 is equals to 800 plus x therefore x is equals to 1300 minus 800 and that is 500 meters so the correct answer is that is the length of the tunnel is 500 meters. Option C.